So today I'm going to be talking about the three main processes that you need to know for the movement of particles. So you have the three are diffusion, you have osmosis and you also have active transport. So I'm going to first start with diffusion. So diffusion is basically the net movement of particles from an area of high concentration of these particles to an area of low concentration of these particles, also known as down the concentration gradient. So basically these particles are going to be moving from a high concentration where there's loads of these particles down to an area where there's not a lot of these particles there and it's a net movement. It's really important for you guys to say the net movement because in general speaking terms, not all of the not all of the particles are going to be moving down the concentration gradient. So it's very important for you guys to say a net movement, the overall movement, because not all of these particles are going to move down the concentration gradient. You may have some particles down here that are actually gonna go up there, <laughs> they're gonna go up there to where there's lots of them. But when you compare the movement of these particles, generally, when you compare it, the net movement, the overall movement is down, the concentration gradient. And it's also very important for you guys to know is that diffusion is a passive process, it's not active, so it doesn't use, meaning that it doesn't use energy from ATP, it solely relies on the kinetic energy from these particles and these kinetic energy from these particles kind of makes the um, particles to overall move down the concentration gradient. Now I'm going to move on to osmosis. So osmosis is the net movement of water molecules, remember, just water molecules down the concentrate down the water concentration gradient or from an area of where there's lots of water molecules to an area where there's lower not a lot of water molecules and it's also important for you to say across a partially permeable membrane so a partially permeable membrane is basically just a membrane plasma membrane cell surface membrane whatever you like to call it and the reason why we call it a partially permeable membrane is because the membrane can only allow certain substances to pass through so not all so not all substances can pass through the membrane which is very important so when we are referring to the a partially permeable membrane it just basically means like this plasma membrane the cell surface membrane so don't be confused by that you may have also heard that some people, well, that they like to, instead of saying from an area where there's lots of water molecules, from high water molecules to a concentration where there's not a lot of water molecules, you may also hear dilute and concentrated. So dilute is another word for saying where there's lots of, the, where there's more water molecules and concentrated is where there's not a lot of water molecules so again you would say from an area where it's dilute down to an area where it's concentrated and you may also hear about solutes so solutes are like glucose these sugar molecules that are in water that can be in water and that basically decreases the water potential oh you will also hear about water potential uh decrease the water potential basically makes the solution more concentrated again so if you hear solutes just know that where there's fewer solutes means that there's a higher proportion of water molecules and when you hear that there's more solutes that means that there's a lower proportion of water molecules so also when you're describing osmosis in those sort of terms you would say where there's fewer solutes to where there's more solutes in terms of the net movement of water molecules 
you may also hear about water potential so i believe water potential is a tendency for water molecules to move from one area to another yes it is and in other words it's basically where there's a high water potential to where there's a low water potential that's the movement of water so down the water potential gradient uh, what else do you need to know about osmosis yeah osmosis is also a passive process just like diffusion doesn't rely on energy from atp but you know what does rely on energy rely on energy for atp active transport so active transport is different is different as um compared to diffusion and osmosis because instead of going down the concentration gradient it is actually going against the concentration gradient so instead of going from high to low it goes from low to high yeah <laughs> high, low to high yeah <laughs> wait let me check i believe it's low to high yeah <laughs> okay i just wanted to confirm that guys low to high and because this is going against the concentration gradient that means that energy is needed is needed to make these molecules to move against the concentration gradient i'm sure you may have heard of uh you know the example of mineral ions how root hair cells um use active transport to take in mineral ions through active transport mean that they need lots of energy i'm going to link a little bit to topic one so because um because active transport needs energy and root hair cells you need does undergoes active transports to kind of transport these mineral ions from the soil into the root hair cell there's going to be lots of mitochondria in the root hair cells because they provide energy for atp they're the site of aerobic respiration they provide energy so that is why just in case you may be wondering that is why there are lots of mitochondria in the root hair cell because plants these root hair cells they need energy for active transport and the mitochondria is <laughs> the powerhouse of the cell and it provides energy so just to add on to that uh, I hope you guys found it useful. This is a short video, so I just thought I should kind of tell you guys about what the three main transport processes that you may need to know. And I hope you guys really enjoyed it and found it useful. So make sure to like and subscribe if you like this video and you want more of this. So bye. <laughs>